Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to be at Boss Harley Davidson again. I'm Diana Kelly. I'm going to play some songs for you for about a half hour here. This is called Pitching or Catching. Sun's left the sky before your lips part. I know I'll get a lie. It's the same situation, just a different occasion. God knows I'm thinking about a long vacation. This game we're playing keeps going into overtime. Feels like you wanna teach me a lesson. I got news for you that school's out of session. You have to be crazy to think that's gonna fly. Again with dozens of roses Next thing I knew you were kneeling Proposing, asking me If I'd be your blushing bride Just cause you slipped a ring on my finger Don't mean you got me hook, line, and sinker And that I do is a big I don't tonight September and noticed that when we moved in two doors down one of the neighbors on the back of their truck had the words just married written and I thought oh ain't that sweet well as of two weeks ago you could still read just married on the back of the pickup truck and I thought well maybe there's a double meaning to those two words and maybe that would explain some of the issues in the yard and uh, and now they're moving out so yeah so I ended up writing this song about them. It's called Just Married. The weeds are waist high in the front yard And the truck is up on blocks And empty cans rust in the driveway Looks like their love is on the rocks The honeymoon should just be starting But looking round it's plain to see 
that they're just married, just married. But those two words are still just visible, where the best man sprayed them on. caught in cobwebs but now you'd think they would be gone there's no desire to hide the evidence and not a care what folks might think cause they're just married passion burned out quick and all the ashes blew away cause they're just merry just merry that piece of paper's nothing special says they're married just married thank you bless You work a crowded room, smile on your face, light-hearted and cool. But the moment I walk through the door, you change your tune and smile no more. If you love me like you swear you do, if you shallow far as I can tell and if you really love me you hide it well you hide it well you treat a stranger on the street better than you've been treating time I try, you look at me like I'm out of my mind. If you love me like you swear you do, if you want me to believe it's true, you better show to the 
saw Eastwood, right? Yeah. Well, Eastwood got me thinking back to Sundays when I was growing up. Because I'd get up and I'd always watch the Looney Tunes right early in the morning. And, no, that's not why I was thinking. <laughs> I was leading into that. Now, that is kind of good, ain't it? Yeah. Um, no. Sunday mornings would start out with the Looney Tunes, followed up by Westerns. Gunsmoke. Big Valley was my favorite. I was a big Barbara Stanwyck fan. Uh, even at nine, I thought she was cool. And then, of course, in the afternoon was Wide World of Sports at three. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So Eastwood got me thinking about, <laughs> not about Looney Tunes so much, but just got me thinking about Westerns. So <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I don't think I could ever recreate that if I tried. Um, but anyway, so I wrote this song about that. And it's called Final Ride. His boot heels were dusty from the grit of that dirt road His hat was faded from that westbound sun They led him bright and early to the gallows of a town up those stairs to where the nooses were all hung The sheriff was awaiting with a rifle at his side And he slipped that rope around the dead man's neck Didn't cover up his face so he could look him in the eyes The smell of last night's whiskey strong upon his breath them like a book the thirst for blood could never be denied the clock tower ticked the minutes down until those boots would leave the ground his execution was to be his final ride he thought about Miss Jenny over at the old saloon he could still smell her perfume on the air He could hear her whispered I love you's And feel her lips touch his As he'd run his fingers through her auburn hair He hadn't known that she was soon to marry someone else And that someone now was standing by his side he could see the sheriff's anger boiling over and he knew that the prize for love would be his final ride. The church bells started ringing as they welcomed in the day. The sun had just begun to climb over the hills. 
He could see Miss Jenny crying in the back of that large crowd. Heard her say, I love you and I always will. He said, I knew this valley would soon be the death of me. But I never thought I'd feel this full of life. Then the trap door disappeared from underneath the cowboy's boots. And they all watched as he took his final ride. Miss Jenny never married, and the sheriff, he moved on to a town where he would never see her face. Every day she'd visit that cowboy where he lay in the ground and place a single wildflower there upon his grave. They found her that December when she didn't come back home. Up against his tombstone she had simply died. And I'm sure that cowboy spirit was waiting for her there. And together they both took one final ride. song <laughs> hot you got me feeling hot you're playing cool but I'm not you got me high on hot slow you want to take it slow You're gonna taste when you bite into this pepper. We'll set fire to this place. You make me sizzle like some bacon in a cast iron skillet. I got your homegrown loving, baby. Come and get it. Ain't gonna pop. Ain't gonna fizzle. Just swagger over here and listen to me as I. Wow, it's gonna get real wild. I ain't about to be mild. I'm gonna drive you wild. Burn, I'm talking love degree burns. They'll be the kind that you earn. Burn, baby, burn. You won't be for sure what it just sweat or pop out on your head. Next time you look in the mirror, you'll be fire engine red. You make me sizzle like some bacon in a cast iron skillet. It's on the honey on your ham. You don't need to go to Denny's, baby. I'll be your grand slam. Out of the park. <laughs> you make me sizzle like some bacon in a cast iron skillet. Listen to me as I Aww. 
husband was walking outside the other day. He always takes daily walks and he normally, we call him the dog whisperer or the puppy, the puppy piper, pied piper, the pied piper of puppies. That's it. Yeah. And, uh, cause he always ends up with like a trail of dogs following him home. And I just, I don't get it. You know, I don't feed them, you know, I don't ask for them to show up, but they do. And uh, about a week or so ago, he had a kitten follow him home. And I thought, well, you're cute, and you're not feral, and you're hungry. You know, so now we've, we've been adopted by a calico cat that happens to be a male, not a female, which I guess is like a 1 in 10,000 chance. Go figure. But yes, love the kitty. See here. Oh yeah. I got to go to Gatlinburg a year ago and uh, stay in a cabin with a few riders and um, was there with Dennis Duff and I gave him this idea that I had about an oak tree and he liked it so he sat down and wrote it. Left it in the bedroom, lying there on our nightstand. I just stood there staring at it as I held it in my hand. You know it used to be. Before it hit the forest floor Now it's just a scrap of paper It could have been so much more Should have been a set of rafters Just a no goodbye letter. What a waste of a good old tree. Some dark 
Good. 